This video is a work of fiction and contains sirens. You have been warned. Enjoy the video. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch No. 16, effective until 1 a.m. Tuesday. This watch includes the following counties, in Georgia, Burke, Columbia, Lincoln, McDuffie, and Richmond. And the following counties, in South Carolina, Aiken, Bamberg, Barnwell, Cahoon, Chesterfield, Clarendon, Edgefield, Fairfield, Kershaw, Lancaster, Lee, Lexington, McCormick, Newberry, Orangeburg, Richmond, Saluda, and Sumter. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, broadcast radio and television outlets, or listen to Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch No. 16 has been issued until 1 a.m. Tuesday for the following counties, in Georgia, Burke, Columbia, Lincoln, McDuffie, and Richmond. And the following counties, in South Carolina, Aiken, Bamberg, Barnwell, Cahoon, Chesterfield, Clarendon, Edgefield, Fairfield, Kershaw, Lancaster, Lee, Lexington, McCormick, Newberry, Orangeburg, Richmond, Saluda, and Sumter. The National Weather Service in Columbia has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for western Lexington County in central South Carolina, eastern Saluda County in central South Carolina, until 7.30 p.m. At 6.24 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located 5 miles north-northwest of Leesville and moving south at 40 miles per hour. Locations impacted include West Columbia, Casey, Lexington, Irmo. Batesburg Leesville, Saluda, Springdale, South Congaree, Gaston, Pine Ridge, Chapin, Swansea, Ridge Spring, Pelion, Gilbert, Moneta, Summit, and Ward. Severe thunderstorms produced damaging winds, large hail, deadly lightning and very heavy rain. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of your home or business. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 7.30 p.m. for the following counties, in South Carolina, Lexington and Saluda. The National Weather Service in Columbia has issued a tornado warning for northern Aiken County in south-central South Carolina until 7.15 p.m. At 6.42 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located 4 miles southeast of Moneta and moving southwest at 45 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Aiken, North Augusta, New Ellington, Burnett Town, Jackson, Wagoner, Sally, Moneta, Perry, and Windsor. Take cover now. 
Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7.15 p.m. for the following county, Aiken, South Carolina. The National Weather Service in Columbia has issued a tornado warning for Edgefield County in southwestern South Carolina until 7.30 p.m. At 6.56 p.m., National Weather Service meteorologists reported a funnel cloud five miles west-southwest of Edgefield. Doppler radar showed this severe storm moving northwest at 55 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Edgefield, Johnston, and Trenton. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. Do not stop under bridges or highway overpasses. They will not protect you from the tornado. The tornado may be hidden by rain and very difficult to see. Do not wait. Take cover now. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7.30 p.m. for the following county, Edgefield, South Carolina. The National Weather Service in Columbia has issued a tornado warning for McCormick County in western South Carolina until 8 p.m. At 7.16 p.m., a funnel cloud was reported 3 miles east of McCormick and moving south-southeast at 95 miles per hour. Locations impacted include McCormick, Parksville, and Plum Branch. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 8 p.m. for the following county, McCormick, South Carolina. The National Weather Service in Columbia has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Columbia County in eastern Georgia, northwestern Richmond County in eastern Georgia, until 8 p.m. At 7.31 p.m., a confirmed tornado was located three miles east-northeast of Fort Gordon and moving east-southeast at 110 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Augusta, Grovetown, Hefziba, Harlem, Blythe, Martinez, Evans, and Appling. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor. Protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until late 15 p.m. for the following counties, in Georgia, Columbia and Richmond. Tornado Emergency for Waynesboro. 
The National Weather Service in Columbia has issued a tornado warning for Burke County in eastern Georgia until 8.30 p.m. At 7.37 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located six miles east of Waynesboro and moving east at 100 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for Waynesboro. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Waynesboro, Sardis, Keysville, Midville, Girard, and Vedette. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 8.30 p.m. for the following county, Burke, Georgia. is transmitted at the request of the Georgia State Emergency Management Augusta, Georgia. A nuclear power plant warning has been issued for all residents living within 50 miles of the Vogtel Electric Generating Plant due to a meltdown of reactor number 2. An EF4 tornado has caused damage to the plant four hours ago, which could be potentially dangerous to nearby residents. Because of the possible threat of explosions and the release of radioactive materials into the air, all citizens living within a 50-mile radius are strongly advised to evacuate now. The following counties that are under the mandatory evacuation are, in Georgia, Burke, Columbia, Jefferson, Jenkins, Richmond, Screven, Northern Bullock, Northeastern Candler, Northeastern Emanuel, Eastern Glasnick, Southeastern McDuffie, Northeastern Trutland, Extreme Eastern Washington, and Extreme Southeastern Warren Counties. And in South Carolina, Aiken, Allendale, Barnwell, Western Bamberg, Extreme Western Colleton, Southern Edgefield, Western Hampton, Extreme Southern Lexington, and Extreme Western Orangeburg Counties. If you are currently in the mentioned area, evacuate now. This is WFXG. We will be discontinuing programming. Transmission will now cease.